Hi there and welcome to today's class. For today's class, we'll be looking at another question on first principle differentiation. So let's say we have the question um, y equal to 3x squared minus 2x plus 4. And we ask to differentiate this using first principle. So what do we do? Of course, as usual, our first tax is that to y, I will add change in y, and to x, I will add change in x. So I will now have y plus change in y. It's equal to, for this, I'll be having x3 into, for x squared, it becomes x plus change in x all squared minus 2 into 2x here, I'll add x plus change in x and then finally plus 4 so you have this all right so i'll have this this term here my next tax from here i'll be having y plus change in y it's equal to this gives you 3 into this expansion we did this expansion in a previous lesson and our value gave us x squared plus 2x change in x plus change in x squared all right so we did this expansion in our previous lesson so if you missed it you can check our previous video and you see how we got this value proceeding this becomes minus 2 into i have x plus change in x then finally i have plus 4 then finally, I have plus 4. So this gives me plus 4. All right. Next tax, I'll have to expand this bracket. So expanding the bracket, I have here as y plus change in y equal to 3 times x squared. That's this into x squared gives you 3x squared plus 3 times 2x change in x gives you 6x change in x so simply 3 times 2 which is 6 bring down the x change in x plus 3 times change in x squared gives you 3 change in x squared that's 3 multiplying this one here so proceeding i have minus our next tax here is 2 times minus 2 times x that gives you minus 2x minus 2 times plus change in x that's this one here that gives you minus 2 change in x plus 4 i have this all right so we have this here what's the next tax i will check if there's any like them so if i look at this um x squared x change in x change in x squared x change in x so there's no um there's no like them so since there's no like them what do i do I'll move y over to the to the other side. So I'll move this y here from the left hand side over to the right hand part of the equation. So I'll have something that looks like change in y it's equal to 3x squared plus 6x change in x plus 3 change in x squared minus 2x minus 2 change in x plus 4 y comes here becomes minus y all right so i have this all right what's the next step here our next step is to replace y but we're giving y as being equal to what there this this one here which is 3 x squared minus 2x plus 4. If I replace that, what do I have there? So from here, this becomes change in y. It's equal to 3x squared plus 6x change in x plus 3 change in x squared minus 2x minus 2 change in x 
okay plus 4 into minus now here's where it gets tricky now whenever you have to replace y such that y is a compound term and by compound term i mean y the values of y are separated by either a plus as you can see here or a minus please use a bracket all right if you don't use a bracket you have an incorrect answer so please use a bracket so into brackets this becomes 3x squared minus 2x plus 4 so you have this value here so let me stress that again whenever you have to replace y this y here by a value here such that the terms in y is a compound term and by that i mean the terms are separated by either a minus or a plus it's very important that you include brackets please don't forget this all right don't forget that include your brackets all right so having said that let's proceed my next task will be to expand the brackets so expanding brackets what do i have i will have that change in y it's equal to this becomes 3x squared plus 6x change in x plus 3 change in x squared minus 2x minus 2 change in x plus 4 use minus to expand the brackets minus into 3x squared gives you minus 3x squared minus into okay so this minus multiplies minus 2x that becomes plus 2x this minus multiplies plus 4 that becomes minus 4 so i have this now one way to know that you're correct is that after expanding this each of these terms from this bracket will cancel out terms um here so if i expand this if i look at this you can see um 3x squared will be cancelled by minus 3x squared again observing critically you see that minus 2x will cancel plus 2x and then you have minus 4 or plus 4 will be cancelled by minus 4 so this is how you know that you're actually correct all right all the terms in your y will cancel out them all right they'll cancel out terms here that's how you know you're correct so if that's true i'll be having that change in y it's equal to i'm left with 6x change in x plus 3 change in x squared okay um, i have this term here minus 2 change in x any other term again left nope they've all cancelled out all right so i have this at this point here your next step is to factorize change in x if i factorize change in x i have change in y is equal to change in x into if i take off change in x here i'm left with 6x plus this is change in x squared that means if i take up one change in x i'll still be left with change in x so i'm left with three times change in x minus if i take off change in x here i'm left with minus two that's minus two so i have this that's a simple idea of factorization from here my next step is to divide divide by change in x so i have change in y all over change in x is equal to change in x into 6x plus 3 change in x minus 2 so we have this so in this case here in this case so you now observe that okay so divide here still by changing x i'm dividing both sides by changing x so i have this all right proceeding you have that this cancels this one here so you have change in y all over change in x as being equal to this gives you about um 6x plus 3 change in x minus 2 so we said at this point why you still have a change in x what's your last step here our last step is to take limit or limb 
limb or limits um the full the full form is of limb is limits limit of change in x to be zero and we said this means wherever i see change in x on the right hand side i should call it zero so this all over change in x is equal to 6x plus 3 into change in x that's zero then minus 2 and this is equal to 6x plus 3 times 0 0 and then minus 2 okay so that means my answer is equal to 6x minus 2 that's the value okay if i if you want you can see factorize factorize this this i have 2 into 6 divided by 2 gives you 3 then bring down the x minus 2 divided by 2 gives you 1 so it becomes 2 2 into 3x minus 1 all right let's use general method let's use general method all right so let's say we have this term here 3x squared minus 2x plus 4 all right um 3x squared let's bring it here y equal to 3x squared minus 2x plus 4 all right so if i use general method i will have that dy over dx it's equal to multiply by the power 2 times 3 gives you 6x into 2 minus 1 is 1 minus the power here is 1 so 1 times 2 gives you 2x into 1 minus 1 plus for constants we say the power is what 0 times 4 work on this this is this is equal to 6 into x to power 1 gives you x minus 2 into x to power 1 minus 1 gives you 0 plus 0 times 4 is 0 this gives you 6x minus 2 into x to power 0 gives you 1 and then finally i would have something that looks like equal to 6x minus 2 times 1 is 2 such that if i factorize the common factor between 6 and 2 is 2 6x divided by 2 gives you 3x minus 2 divided by 2 gives you 1. So you can see we have the same answer using um, general method and first principle. That proves that our answer is correct. All right. So please, if you like, if you enjoyed this, this class, please like this video. All right. Um, leave a comment. All right. Tell us if you enjoyed the video. And also share this video to your friends so that they can also learn. Also, if it's your first cry, also if it's your first time or you've not subscribed yet, please subscribe to this channel as it encourages us to keep making more content. And of course, why not share to your friends? All right, so like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thank you, and see you in our next class.